Chinese manufacturer Shoepad is back with another rearview mirror card DVR system for the entry level market. This is a review of the Shoepad R7 dual camera mirror DVR. Hello and welcome to a new simple tech review. Today we have a new entry in the rearview mirror dash cam lineup. The R7 mirror is a simple yet functional card DVR with dual cameras that record the front video at full HD 1080p and the back camera at 480p that can be used as a back camera to see the view behind you when you shift into reverse. The front camera uses a Novatech 96663 processor for good quality video and an Aptina AR0330 sensor plus a lens aperture of f2.0 for decent night clarity. Let's begin with a quick unboxing. First we have the mirror unit, then the backup camera and cable, the lighter plug power adapter, the elastic mounting bands, double-sided tape and screws to install the back camera, and the user manual. Taking a closer look at the mirror, on the front we have the 5-inch IPS screen with a resolution of 800 x 480. On the back there's the speaker, the 170 degree wide angle camera, and the reset pinhole and ventilation holes. On top, we find the ports for the microSD card up to 32GB, the backup camera, and the USB power cable. And on the bottom, the buttons for power, menu, mode, up, OK, and down. The Shoepad R7 uses the standard mount over your stock mirror installation that we have seen before. To install it, simply place the mirror on top of your existing mirror and secure it in place using the included elastic bands. Connect the backup camera cable and run it through the headliner all the way to the back of the car where you wish to install the camera. The rear camera is weatherproof so you can install it either inside or outside the vehicle. Insert your microSD card, connect the USB power cable, and plug in the ladder power adapter so that the mirror starts recording when you turn the ignition on. And remember that if you want to have the mirror automatically show you the view behind you when you shift into reverse, you must connect the red and black wires on the camera cable to your white reversing bulb. However, you can skip this and have the mirror show you the rear view on demand by pressing the up arrow when you need to see the rear back view. Let's now have a look at the main mirror functions. The screen on this mirror is not a touch screen so you will need to navigate the menus using the buttons on the bottom. The front camera's resolution can be set to a maximum of 1080p that will record good video. However, the back camera is fixed to 480p which results in subpar video quality. Don't expect to be reading license plates or picking up small details from the rear image. Loop recording can be set to 2, 5 or 10 minutes. There is motion detection that you can use if you decide to hardwire the mirror. And you can use the parking monitor to record a video if an impact is registered when the vehicle is parked and turned off. In conclusion, the Shoepad R7 is a straightforward DVR backup camera solution for your vehicle that is easy to use and install. It will record clear 1080p video from the front camera during date and night scenarios. It will simultaneously record what happens in front and behind your vehicle and can be used as a backup camera for when shifting into reverse, all for a decent price. My only gripe is that the back video is in 480p, which by 2018 standards where 4K and UHD is becoming a norm, anything in SD quality leaves a lot to be desired. I hope this trend can be changed this year and that we start seeing more and more full HD rear camera systems in the months to come. And that is all for this review. If you'd like to check out the Shoepad R7 mirror, please click on the link in the video description below. 
And as always, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, commenting, and sharing. Thanks for watching, and I'll now leave you with the video sample clips. I'll see you on the next review.